Hello, my name is Joe Vasta, and today we're going to go over the chain rule. We have a function that says y equals square root sine of e raised to the 5x plus 3 power. And we're going to write that square root as the 1 half power. We'll also put parentheses around the argument of the sign. So we want to take the derivative of this function. And taking the derivative of a function like this is related to this picture here with the bad guy. This bad guy wants to break into the house. So he has to get over the fence, take care of the dog, defuse the alarm, and then get into the door. And so let's rewrite this using terms from the picture there. So the thing that's on the outside that the bad guy must do first is the one half power which is the fence and then he has to take care of the dog and the sign the dog is the sign and then we take care of the e which is the alarm and then the 5x plus 3 which is the door now i'm not saying people should break into people's houses this is just an analogy for the chain rule so the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take care of the fence so taking care of the fence, because it's on the outside, we really have to take the derivative of something to the one half power. And so the derivative of something to the one half power, you just use the power rule. You get y prime equals one half something to the negative one half power. And we're going to start writing our derivative right here. And so I have one half something to the negative one half power that takes care of the fence and the bad guy can get in and so he does that and now what we want to do is take care of the dog well the dog is the sign of something so we're going to take the derivative of sign something the derivative of sine is the cosine. So y prime equals cosine of something. So we're going to come up here and multiply that result by what we had over here. So cosine of something or something is this right here. And this is the chain rule. We have just taken care of the dog. If we cross it out. And now we're getting closer to the house. Okay, so now the bad guy has to take care of the alarm. The alarm is the E. And so we have to take the derivative of E to something. And the derivative of E to something is E to something. So E to the X is the Superman of all functions. You can hit it with a derivative and it's the same thing. It's not like a polynomial that starts dying off so we come back over here our something is 5x plus 3 so now we're going to go ahead and multiply this is e to the 5x plus 3 we have just taken care of the alarm and so there it is now we want to take care of the door And to take care of the door, we really just have to look at this last part right here. This is the part that was on the inside. 5x plus 3. The derivative of 5x plus 3 is 5. So we're going to go ahead and multiply it over here. And that gets us the result. We've just taken care of the door. And now we're in. So let's clean up our answer a little. We can um, move this negative one-half power to the bottom. So you cross the line, change the sign, it becomes positive one-half in the denominator. And then I'll change that to a square root. I'll put coefficients out front, rearrange some of the terms, and there's my final answer. So if you can understand this problem for the chain rule, you can pretty much understand 
most of the problems that you'll see in your homework. Let's go over one more problem. It is y equals 3 secant squared 5x. So we'll write it with more parentheses. Remember, when you see a secant squared, it really means the secant of that thing squared. And then I put parentheses around the argument. And I am now going to take the derivative. What do we see on the outside? We see this squared and this 3. So y prime equals that. What I did is I went 3 something squared. Well, the 2 jumps down by the power rule. We have 6 something to the 1 power. So that takes care of that outside stuff. Now I'm going to take the derivative of the secant of something, because the secant is the next thing that's on the outside. And the derivative of secant of something is secant something tangent something. And that takes care of the secant. So we cross it out. And now we're going to take the derivative of this inside part. The derivative of 5x is 5. And that takes care of the whole problem. So we're going to put the coefficients in the front. So we'll have a 30. And then I see a secant 5x times another secant 5x. I'll put a square on that. And our final answer is 30 secant squared 5x tangent 5x. So I hope this helps you. Have a good day.